Timothy, hello to you and to the Reddit.com Star Trek fans. Uh, thank you very much for your very kind words, first of all. I have to say a hallelujah because my non-disclosure agreement was lifted yesterday at the New York Comic Con um, with the announcement that uh, Moriarty would be returning. I've had to sit on this information since last December when I went to Los Angeles to film the episode. Um, it was a fantastic experience, as it always is. I have seen the uh, cast uh, from Next Generation a few times at uh, conventions over the years, and they have always included me at, at their um, dinners that they share with each other after the convention has come to an end, and that's always a very exciting time. Um, it's a wonderful group of people, as you know, and I am thrilled to be part of it. Um, you asked if I was uh, happy with the story. It's interesting because there's not very much I can tell you. Um, even though the the non-disclosure agreement was about uh, not revealing that I was part of the, of the final season of Picard, but uh, it sort of includes the fact that I'm not to discuss too much about the story. Um, the one thing I think I can tell you is I think the fans will enjoy what happens uh, more if they understand that it's a bit of a callback to an earlier season, um, way before Moriarty even appeared, actually. Uh, the first meeting between uh, Riker and Data, uh, you should remind yourselves of that. Uh, that's about as much as I can tell you. As Riker says in the script, in the scene that we did, this is not the Moriarty that we know from the Enterprise. And in fact, that is true. Uh, and that's all I can tell you. Uh, it's a different different kind of Moriarty, but it's still Moriarty. Um, it, it, it's um, very exciting. Uh, the thing that I love the most about the experience, aside from actually doing the show, was that... Um, I went out in December when uh, COVID was still very active and we, uh, I got to the hotel on the location where they shoot and I was greeted at the hotel by someone from the medical team who tested me uh, on the spot and uh, we were tested, you had to be tested every time you were going to the set. Um, I got there uh, to LA a week early so that I could go through the testing. Also the fact that the original Star Trek uh, episodes, uh, the costume designer, Robert Blackman, an old friend of mine from theater days, um, had found a costume uh, that he uh, we used in the show that was uh, from the uh, Western Costume Shop, which is a big uh, warehouse for television and film costumes that go back forever. In fact, I remember once I was in a play and I wore a coat that the label on the inside said Frank Sinatra. And I thought, oh my, I'm wearing, I'm the same size as Frank Sinatra. Those were my thinner days. At any rate, um, we used that costume in both episodes, uh, Ship in a Bottle and Elementary, Dear Data. But this time, they were so kind to me. I live in upstate New York and um, not in Los Angeles anymore. They sent someone to my uh, home in upstate to measure me uh, for a suit uh, and uh, for the costume. And, they, and I got there uh, and the first day I had to go to the set, it was for a costume fitting. Well, they had tailor made the outfit for me. Um, and it, it fit like a glove. It was absolutely astonishing, including an Inverness cape. Uh, it was an amazing costume. Um, and then, of course, you're treated so wonderfully by by the company. And um, the sec and that day that I went for my fitting, when I finished my fitting, I was on my way back to the parking lot, and I ran into Jonathan Frakes, and he was standing uh, outside. Uh, Patrick Stewart's trailer and Patrick Stewart poked his head out and he had finished his work for the day and he said oh Daniel how wonderful that you're back and I, I, I was invited into his trailer and we sat and had a conversation for maybe 90 minutes 
um, he was done for the day and I didn't have anything else to do that day. And we had only ever had an opportunity to just sit and chat with each other uh, on the very first episode where he would invite me into the trailer and we would rehearse the scenes. So Patrick and I have a similar background in the theater and we are both uh, acquainted with Ian McKellen. Of course, they are very close friends. And I stood by for Ian in Amadeus on Broadway. So we had a lot to talk about, uh, about the theater and about his plans and, and what he's currently involved with. And I can't tell you about any of those things either. But we had a wonderful time together. And then came to do the work uh, a couple of days later, tested again. And uh, the work was, um, was wonderful. It was... Uh, uh, just uh, one day, uh, one day of shooting, got everything done in one day. And that is about all I'm able to even uh, hint at. Uh, but I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, it's a, it's, I certainly had a good time and uh, it has a wonderful payoff. So um, there you have it. Uh, thank you very much for your questions and concerns and and uh, for your, again, for your very kind words. I hope everyone enjoys it. All right, take care and thank you very much. Bye-bye.